Hey, what's going on, my fellow Sagittarius? Witch Tarot here. Uh, happy birthday to all you all. Celebrate the birthday. Um, as most of you already know, I'm a Sagittarius sun and moon. So I know all about that. <laughs> my birthday's coming up soon. I, uh, it's my favorite time of year. I mean, it's my birthday and it's Christmas. What can go wrong? <laughs> I am going to do your read for December. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. And let's get it. Universe, we have oh, Sagittarius. It's going on December 2020. Sagittarius. The first thing I see Sagittarius is you're dealing with someone already and I feel like this person there's a lot of in and out with this person. I, I feel like there's not a lot of consistency. This person has a hard time making up their mind. I, I feel like they spend a lot of time in their head and I feel like that causes a lot of hot and cold energy. A lot of in and out. You know, I, I feel like this person They know what they want, they just don't know how to get it. And I feel like it frustrates the hell out of this person. You know, I, I feel like this person, they want this, but I feel like they have a hard time trusting it. And I feel like the reason why you're not getting much from them is because they're afraid of making a mistake. They're afraid of having that regret. You know, this person, I, I, in the hot moments, they feel like you're on the same page. And I feel like you are on the same page. But I feel like there's moments when this person just isn't consistent. There's a lot of inconsistent energy. I feel like one minute they want to be with you, the next minute they don't. And it's, they always want to be with you, but that's how their energy comes off. That's how they act towards you. One minute they, they act like they're all in. The next minute they act like they're, you know, their bags are already packed and they're ready to go. You know, like I said, I feel like they're in their head a lot with that hermit card, that Virgo energy. I feel like they want to make this work because they want it, but they don't know if they can. I feel like they're very inconsistent in the, in the fact of, I feel like what really gets this person is they don't know if you're serious. They don't want to, they don't want to take that leap of faith. They don't want to give everything they have to something if it's just going to be nothing at the end of the day, if there's no real end game. And I feel like, like I said, I, I feel like there's been a lot of, there's a lot of, I mean, they're out of balance. You know, I feel like they feel something real with you, but they also don't know, they're having a hard time seeing what you're seeing. They're having a hard time knowing what you want. You know, I, I feel like there's a lot of, there's a lack of communication. I feel like this person's a communicator. You know, we are getting some, I am getting some Gemini energy. So I feel like this person needs communication and they're not getting it. But instead of requesting it, I feel like they're just assuming the lack of communication is because of lack of interest on your part. You know, you are on the same page. I feel like you both want the same thing, but I feel like we're not talking about it. I feel like it's, it's that elephant in the room. We're just avoiding it. We're just walking around it. We're not actually talking about it. And I feel like that causes a lot of, like, 
you know, that's what's causing the inconsistency in their behavior and the way they act. Like I said, they're in their head a lot. They're just not sure if what you want from them is what they want from you. And it's causing them not to take that, that next step. But what I do see is I, I feel like this person, you know, this person has a lot of respect for you. This person, not only do they have love and admiration, um, you know, not only are you on the same page, I feel like it's the lack of communication that's stopping this from growing. You know, this person, like I said, they have a lot of respect for you. You know, it's not just about a physical connection, not about love, it's not just about love. There's so much more that you have that this person wants, they just don't know if they're actually gonna get it. And they're having a hard time investing in something. You know, this, this person, like I said, this person has a lot of love for you, they have a lot of respect for you, but they just don't know. And that's what's causing this person to be very hesitant and it was causing this person to be out of balance. There's moments when this person's absolutely sure that this is where they were meant to be. And then there's also moments when this person isn't sure of anything. You know, I, I feel like this person just wants to give to you, but they don't know how much to give. And instead of giving a little bit and seeing where it goes, I feel like this person is being very, very guarded. But like I said, I feel like you're both on the same page. I feel like we just need to have that conversation and I feel like that conversation is coming. And I feel like with that, I feel like it's almost like being in a dark room and all of a sudden we find the light switch because I feel like in that instant, very quickly in that instant, we are gonna find a lot of strength in this connection. And I feel like we can finally move forward, but we have to have that communication. And once you have that, I feel like it's going to it's going to answer a lot of questions this person has about this relationship. You know, I I feel a lot of like I said we have that Gemini energy, that lovers card. I feel like this is where you're both meant to be. I feel like but until we actually express to each other what we want, that's why it's been so incons inconsistent. That's why it's been so hard for this person to open up to you because they don't know if you feel that way. When someone has a lot of love for someone, which I feel like this person does, they really want to be with you. They just don't know how. You know, and we have that, that King of Cups. This person is a very loving and nurturing person and they want to love and nurture you, you know, as long as you're willing to do that for them. They don't want to waste their time giving to some, giving everything to someone just to be, you know, met one day by that realization that you weren't even that interested because that's what they feel. They feel like you're not interested. I feel like they feel like you're very guarded. You know, you, you hide your feelings well from them. And you know, all this person wants is to be stable, to be happy, uh, you know, to have someone they can enjoy and someone they can have fun with, but also someone that they can be serious with too. But I feel like the biggest problem that I see here is lack of communication. You know, I feel like they, they don't take you seriously because I feel like there's moments when they do, but there's also moments when they don't take you seriously because they feel like they feel like they're being told what they want to hear. Sometimes they're not being told what they, what they actually needs to be said. And I feel like that's the biggest block in this, in this connection that I can see. And that's why we're not getting any forward movement because of the fact that we're just not clear on where we want this to go. They just want to be clear. And and from what I can feel, this is a very stubborn person. They might have some Sagittarius in them as well. Um, but it's like two stubborn energies coming together and neither one wants to give that first step. No one wants to open up the communication lines. They don't want to be the person that starts it. But that's the only way we're going to get anywhere here but you'll be pleasantly surprised in what you find. Because like I said, we have the lover's card, we have, you know, we have the Hierophant, which is all about a strong union. 
I feel like there's something really good here that needs that communication to open up the door. That communication is the key to the door. And once we open up, we can walk on in and things will change. You know, this person will show up for you as long as they know you're going to show up for them. I find a lot of emotional fulfillment in that. You know, they, they, they just want to know that you're going to put in the work as much as they are. They don't want to, they don't want another person to take care of and not get anything from. They don't want someone that they're not going to get what they put in. And this person will give you everything, and but they'll gonna, they're going to expect the same back. And I see a lot of good fortune once this communication comes, and it will come. I feel like we've been heading down that road for a while. You know, I, I, I just, we have the wheel of fortune, you know, good things happening. We also have that, that ace of pentacles, new stability. I feel like we can finally be stable once we know what we both want. You know, it, it's, it's very hard to get where we want if neither one of us is, is saying what we truly want from each other. You know, I, I, I do feel like this may have started off in more of a casual sense that turned into something more very quickly. And I feel like it was very hard to make that leap. It's very hard to take that next step because sometimes when we have something casual, I feel like there is one person, there's always one person that catches feelings. But in this case, I feel like you both got feelings, but neither one of these are really talking about it. So you're still stuck in that, that, that same beginning energy. You know, it's still very casual, but you both want more, but neither one of these is willing to take that first step to say it. But I feel like that has to come. And I feel like it will come because I feel like this connection that you have with this person is way too strong to walk away from. Now with this person, we have Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, we have some water as well. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And then we have that Leo energy as well. You know, I just see two people that want the same thing, but neither one of them is taking that step in the next direction. Or at least if you are, they're not really, they're not taking you seriously enough. They want someone that's absolutely serious. They want someone they can have fun with, but well, like I said, they want that person that can be serious when they need to be. And I feel like they don't think you take them seriously. That's what I got for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.